I need you guys to name the top fantasy performers from the AFC North since 2000. Total you know or single seasons? Single seasons or... No, cumulative. Cumulative. Yes. Not single Ooh. season. Since 2000. All right, Nick, start us off. Uh, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, the number one wide receiver on the board. We kick it off. To sexual in Canada. Yeah. Me Welcome big back, ben, buddy. Ben. You want Big Ben? Yeah. The number one quarterback on the board, Big Ben. Showing no signs of rust from sexy. None. <laughs> I'll go with Heath. Big Heath? Big Heath. Heath. The number one tight Let's end go. on the board. All right, boys. Keep up the streak. Get the running back. Just keep naming number one Steelers. Back to Nick. Let's go uh, A.J. Green. A.J. Greenstein. Greenstein, number four Steen for the Bengals. I'll take Heinz Ward. You're going to take Heinz Ward. <laughs> Another Steeler on the board. I'll go uh, Chad Johnson. Ocho Cinco. Numero Dos. Andy Dalton's got to be on here. You want Andy? I'll give you Andy. Give me Andy. Number three quarterback. Show me Dalton. I'll take uh, the GOAT, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. Is he elite? Don't know, but he's number two on this list. First Raven off the board. TJ Hushmanzada. TJ Hushmanzada, the wide receiver number five. Kind of just feel like uh, the longevity of these QBs really only open up answers for the, for the breads of the sandwich, you know, early 2000s. Or currently, so I think Lamar snuck in here. Lamar Jackson did sneak onto this list. Sneaky number four. You like that, Patterson? Love it. Love you. What's your next lovely answer? Running backs are kind of tough because they're such short lifespan. But I'm going to go with Ray Rice. Ray Rice, the number two running back on the board. Nice. Carson Palmer. Wow. One QB slot trying to uh, thread the need here. I like it. Trying to thread the needle, and it pays off. He got in that window. Very nice. No more quarterbacks. The RBs are definitely a little tough. I feel like everybody's gone there. I'm, I'm going to go Lev Bell. Lev Bell, the number three running back on the board. Might have even fucked around with the Ravens for a tad. Didn't even think of that. An extra, you know, 12 fancy points maybe True. on top. Would have been, been off the list without those. Exactly. Points. Sexual. Give him a second. He's Googling the answers. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Sexy at, on his home turf. Yeah, about to go undefeated. Yeah, I hate this. Give me Mike Wallace. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Mike Wallace, huh? Surprisingly, the number six wide receiver. Nice. Did spend some time with the Ravens, but counted him as a stealer. I feel like Mark Andrews is on here. Final answer? Yeah. Mark Andrews, number three tight end. I feel like this division just, they don't have a lot of, like, turnover on players. Everyone does their fucking tenure in the NFL. They stay in the AFC North, and that's that. I don't feel good about, like, any Browns receivers. I got to think Nick Chubb. Snuck his way onto the running back list. He did do the sneaky thing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky Chubb. Number five, Let's Nicholas go. Chubb. All right, if Nick Chubb is on here, Joe Mixon's got to be on here. No. You would think. No. And that's because it's correct. Joe ah. Mixon actually has more fantasy points than Nick Chubb. Gross. Very gross. He's only had one good year, but Tyler Eifert? That feels crazy. That was risky. Tyler Eifert did not make the list. That is our first strike of the game. One for J-Mo. We should definitely know this top running back, huh? I think I, I actually feel like I know who it is. I'm between two. Santonio Holmes. Santonio Holmes did not make the list. <sighs> that is strike one for Nick. The strikes might be coming. I have better is he answers. Good? I, don't even, uh, I, I only know him for the Super Bowl enough, play. Yeah. I had for I sure. Shard Mendenhall? No Shard way. Mendenhall, not one of the running backs. Uh, not the running back, I should say. So now we're all at one strike apiece. Fuck. I feel like I had two sure answers, and I went with fucking San Antonio Holmes like an asshole. Deontay Johnson. Deontay Johnson just wow. sneaks on Let's to go. the list Good as guess. the number 10 wide receiver. All right. Pretty sure Todd Heap is on here as a tight end. Todd Heap is the number two tight end. Deontay Johnson made the list. I'm going to go with good. Tyler Boyd. No Tyler way. Boyd. No way. That feels good, actually. Really? Tyler Boyd is for sure Woo! on this list. Patterson. Damn, good oh, guess. Wow. Great guess. Tyler Boyd, number seven. After a round of strikes, we have a round of correct answers. I think I think my I don't even know. I just know he had a two K year. I don't know when it was. Jamal Lewis. He's gotta be the one. Jamal Lewis is the number yeah. one running back. I was hoping that you guys would just keep fucking avoiding that one. Shit. Okay. I was thinking of Jerome Bettis. Jamal. One logo for each team left. Uh, this doesn't feel good. Steve Smith. Steve Smith 
is incorrect. That is strike two for Nick. Fuck. Dennis Pitta, also incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you to the high heavens. You motherfucker. <laughs> That was Dude, a fire guess, though. Pitta I like that. was good for – his career was way too short. He led the league one year, I think, in receptions, but I think, like, sandwiched on the other ends was probably, like, a 12-catch year. So injury. Wow. That was, that was low-key a fire guess, though. J-Mo can take a monumental lead here. This is just an embarrassing guess. No, this is fire. If Tyler Eifert didn't make it, there's no way this guy has more points than him. There's no way David Njoku's on here. David Njoku Hell no. did make the list. Wow. That is a correct <laughs> yes, answer. The number go. five tight end oh on the board. God, bro. I thought you were oh. going to either rip uh, Jordan Cameron or or, uh, or Gary Barnage, and I was waiting to rip the other one if you got yeah. it wrong. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's David Njoku. David Njoku stinks. How is he on this fucking list? He's so mid. Oh, my God. Wow, what a guess. Good shit. Okay. JMO, only one strike compared to two strikes for the other two guys. Back to Nick. I can't believe there wasn't a single Brown from like 2000 to 2017. Just a decade and a half of being so fucking bad. It feels like this is too late for him, but Mark Clayton? Mark Clayton is incorrect. That is strike Fuck. three for Nick. Sexy, now up against the ropes. I might be misremembering his career entirely. We like that. But I'm going to go with Jacoby Jones. Jacoby yeah, Jones about it. is incorrect. That is strike three for Patterson. J-Mo Let's takes go. it home with a David and Joku W. You have another guess? I don't have shit. You don't have shit. Is Nobody has shit. The Ravens, uh, was it Ozzy? No. Is that too, way too yeah, late? That's way too There's late. no way it's Bolden? Shannon. Not Bolden. Bolden's not on this list. Is the wide receiver Plax? Nope. Is it Emmanuel Sanders? No. T. Higgins? No. No. Is Jesse James on here? No. What team is the tight end? The tight end is a Bengal. Oh, is it fucking... Uh, like one of those vets, mm-hmm. like Jermaine Gresham. Jermaine Gresham Fuck. is correct. Oh. And they went through my mind, and I was like, nah. The shit. last two wide receivers. There's no way Juju's Pete got him Juju's here. Juju's Pete got him on here. Wow. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. Juju was like that. Do you remember when Juju was like the number one dynasty asset to have? Yeah, for like one fucking second. Wow, Juju got on there. What a loser. And oh, then Ravens. the only Raven wide receiver. Correct answer is Derek Mason. J-Mo takes home the W. That was the all-double-decade team for the AFC South. I need y'all to name the yards per reception leader by year. The bottom two rows, number two through ten, are 2023. So you can go historical. You can go with what's going on right now. Tony, start us off. Let's go with Tyreek Hill as the number one YPC this year. He is not an NPC. He is the YPC leader, Tyreek Hill. J-Mo, it's going to sling back to you. I'm going to just... Jump down to number three this year, Rashid Shahid. Rashid Shahid, he is that guy. By far the one I was most confident in, too. You threw sexy way off his game, all the way up there in Canada. What do you got for us? All right, I'm going to go to Eagles 2010 to Sean Jackson. Eagles 2010 is the Sean Jackson. Good pull there. I feel good saying DJ Moore is the number four this year. You should, just because there's a very, very large shortage of answers to go with in Chicago's passing offense. Tank Dell, number two. Tank Dell is not. not number two, and you have opened up the floodgates for your competitors. Yes, you have. I'm going to go Nico Collins, number two. Nico Collins is number two. All right, so that makes me think that I got to go Tank Dell 10. Tanky 10. Of course, Tank's at 10. Jamo, hope you've learned from your mistakes and thought it through. Oh, Debo, 2021. Debo is the 2021 leader, yes. Go... George Pickens, number six this year. George Pickens is number six. Thanks really? to a couple big plays. Yep. All right. Give me Brandon Ayuk, number five this year. That's your man's. Watched him make plenty of big plays. Jameis Steen. Michael Wilson, the Cardinals. It's a great guess. Great player. Great guess. Great get. Then I'm going to go Josh Reynolds, number seven. Josh Rennie. Tone. Okay. I'm going to go with Mike Evans in 2018 for the Buccaneers. 2018. Is not my oh, shit. I opened up some floodgates. For gates. the Buccaneers. God damn, I felt really good about that one. Jamo? I mean, Chris Godwin, 2018. Also incorrect. Ooh, okay. Not Chris Godwin. I feel like we, I, I threw you into that fire a little bit. You know, it's like I yeah. took, a, I took I, my I first strike like so you too. could take your second strike. Strategy. Two strikes for Jamo. Well, one now strike Patterson's going to get 2018 and get it wrong, too. You're gonna you're gonna clean up their mess, Patterson. If I take a strike, we all take a strike. I'm kind of tempted to, but at the same time, I kind of want to see them keep earning there. No, I think I know who it is now. If it's not those two, but down to 
All right, I'm going to go with Marquez Valdez Scantling, 2020. MVS, he's your MVP. He's on the board. Oh. It's getting a little tricky. Okay, I don't feel great about this answer, but if I get some other ones wrong, it feels like it opens up some gates. So I'm going with the no gate answer, 2015 for the 49ers. Give me Torrey Smith. 2015 for the 49ers. It's Torrey Smith. Let's go. Nice pull. This is so I can sleep tonight. Deshaun Jackson, 2018 Buccaneers. You're going to sleep like a baby. Damn it. I had that. Fuck. I, I honestly thought maybe you guys forgot he was a buck, and I thought I could sit on that longer. Patterson, clean right now. Get in the mud, Mike Patterson. Mike Williams, 2019. Mike Williams is the correct answer yeah. for 2019. Puts the pressure on Tony. <sighs> Man, this is bad. But I think last year, 2022, I don't think it was Hill. I think it was Waddle. Give yeah. me Waddle. Is that your guess? Yep. That is correct. Yeah. 2014, Deshaun Jackson again. 2014 is Deshaun Jackson again. Nice. I feel like 2016 has got to be Deshaun Jackson too. 2016 does indeed have to be Deshaun Jackson for Washington. Keep in mind, there were two players that tied there, so there's also a Patriot that was getting it done, similar to Deshaun Jackson that year. I almost just like want him to be on this list more than I think he's actually that guy. I love that. But I want to say I really want to go 2013, Kenny Stills. Indeed. Let's go. Kenny Stills. Stills keeps Tony still in the game. Deshaun Jackson ran it up. You thinking about throwing another D-Jax guess out there? No, I'm thinking about throwing a V-Jax. 2011, Vincent Jackson. 2011 is not Vincent Fuck. Jackson. That is three strikes for JMO. Sexy, on the clock, sir. I'll go down to number eight this year and say 2-2 Atwell. 2-2 two, two gives you 1-1 one, one strike. It's not 2-2 two, two Atwell. Huge, because that means number eight's got to be Puka. It is not Puka. Fuck. Are you serious? That's two strikes. It is Cooper. Oh, Cook. no. Correct. No. God damn it. What I just did to Jamo earlier in this game, fucking. Yeah, we I said minimum 10 catches. He has about 10 catches every single game. He steps out there now, so he certainly qualifies, and he is number nine on the list. So we've got oh, no. two strikes for Tony, one for Sexual Patterson. Still plenty of game left. Do not throw it all away now, Tony. You've played such a I know. scrumptious I was, game. I was, waiting, I was waiting for someone to say 2 2 because I was like, it feels like 2-2, but I don't want to guess that. I can't believe Puka was your number two, though. Yeah, what do you mean? Puka's so good. Just like eight-yard passes every single play. That's not true. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> All right. Give Stay me alive. 2017 Marvin. Marvin Jones. Uncle Marvin. Come on. Uncle, grandfather, Marvin Jones. Your life depends yes. on it. He's on the board. Let's go. He's on the board. Knew it. Huge. I never wavered from Marvin. Patterson. I'm going to go 2009 Mike Wallace. 2009 is Mike Wallace. Damn. Back against the ropes. I could have the year wrong on this man, but the only guy that comes to mind for that 2016 Patriots team is Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks? Wait, no, not wrong year? It feels early. It does feel early, but like he went from he went from the Saints to the Pats. Fuck, that's wrong, didn't he? 2016 New England Patriots is not Shit. Was he a Ram before a Pat? Was I have no clue who the Patriots one is. I've been thinking about that for so long. You want to rip a couple, of Sexy? See how long I would, go My for next him? guess would have been 2007, Mike Wallace. That's incorrect. That was Santonio Holmes. Okay, and then I would have gone Vincent Jackson, 2012. Yes, yeah. you missed Damn VJax it. by the year in the team. I Okay, so originally I thought that was VJax, but I didn't. I started to question whether or not I thought that because you got it wrong, and I was like, I didn't want that. So to. 2016 was Chris Hogan. Oh, oh. Bitch ass lacrosse player. Chris yeah, 2011 Hogan. was Malcolm Floyd. Mm. 2008 uh, wasn't also Kenny Stills, was it? It wasn't. Okay. Uh, Devery Henderson was 08 and 06. That man was, that, that guy was averaging like 25 yards a catch every time. Would have been nice played. to know who that guy is. 2007, Santonio Holmes. 2005. Geo. No, it was Ashley Laley. Lily, L E L I E. She sounds good. He was he was both 2005 and 2004. Uh, I mean, Terry Glenn. Glenn for Dallas. Oh, never mind. Um, in 2003, it was Joey Galloway for Dallas. 2002 mm. was Quincy Morgan. 01 was Chris Chambers. Wait, 2000? Tory Holt. Yes. Damn it. And then uh, Atlanta was Tim Dwight. So if I kept going down, the, the stat is too obscure to go into like the 80s. Yeah. So I just it's cut too it off. Too obscure to go into the 2000s for me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, oh, there you have it. Sexual Patterson gets another cheating win over there behind the computer screen. Can't prove it, but we all know. We all know what's going on over there in Canada. A few days ago, you guys listed the all-time rushing leaders by quarterbacks. I now need the all-time passing leaders ever. 
And if there's any tie, as in they played for multiple teams, they represent the team they had the most yards with, Okay. to clarify. Sexy, start us off. It should be quick in the beginning. Number one. Tony, what do you got? Let's go with Drew Brees as the number two. Some rapid fire going, Nick. Peyton Manning, Colts, number three. Yep. Big Ben, Steelers. (laughs) Dipping and dodging a little bit, but it's still strikeless. No shame. No one's really sure which one that is. <laughs> Let's go with Philip Rivers as the number one charger. <laughs> it's 11,000 yard difference. No one knows. Matty Ice, Falcons there. You know Dan Marino. Right? Yep. Let's go with Eli Manning as the Giant. Let's do it. Matt Stafford. Yep. I'll take Warren Moon for that spoiler. Warren Moon will do it. <laughs> <laughs> the GOAT. Patterstein, huge for you. Uh, let's go with, for the Bronco, John Elway. That is John Elway. Ravens, Joe Flacco. Yes, sir. He won Niners Square. I'll go Joe Montana. That is Joe Montana. There's a bunch of team logos like right next to each other. Yeah. yeah. Holy it gets shit. Tight. Take a swing at Green Bay. I think I'm going to. I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Brett Favre is the number one Packer. That's correct. Yeah, you're welcome. First five are checked off. About time. You think I won't guess Jordan Love right now? A Rod. Yes, sir. You're a good man for that. We're just trying to get the Canadian out. Facts. I'll take Drew Bledsoe for the Patriots. That is Drew Bledsoe. Let's go. Oh, fuck. I just saw that second Bills logo. Yeah, they're all <laughs> right like, next to each oh, other. It's no. fucking hard. Okay. However, there's only one Cowboy. And I'm going to say that that was Troy Aikman. Second to last is not Troy fuck. Aikman. That is the first strike. God damn it. Any breadcrumbs getting picked up? Okay. I'm helping out so fucking much. It's ridiculous. One of my immediate guesses is going to be Russ, and then I realized there's just three Seahawks right next yeah. to each other. So this might be the worst thing of all time. Is that Dak then? That is not Dak. What? What? Dry corn. Tony, Tony Romo. Romo. It's Tony Romo. Damn it. That's crazy. <laughs> that is kind of wild. You went with. Has, wow. Hasn't he had like 5,000? All over again. Hasn't he had 5,000 passing yard seasons? Dak? I feel like he can't be that far off of that number. I mean, he missed a year. Just like with one star, though, it's like I'm definitely going Romo over Dak. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go with um, the highest rated bangle. I'm going to say that's Carson Palmer. 15 is Carson Palmer. Nice. There's there's just one eagle on the board, right? Looks like it. McNabb? It is McNabb. Damn. Donovan. I'll take Jay Cutler for the Bears. No Yo. Bears. That's wild. That is Jay Cutler. That's Jay Cutler. Damn. There's so many just 50 50s. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with. No one's got the Baltimore Colts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack the Baltimore Colts. Johnny Unitas? Johnny Unitas. Okay. Oh, they have so much history. This feels like such a bad guess. Oh. What do you got? Oh, actually, I think I know. I think I know the pivot. Is it bad? I know. I think you should go. Is it embarrassing? You should do it. If, you th- if I'm thinking, you should do it. Derek Carr. I knew that's where we were going. Derek Carr. No fucking chance that's Derek Carr. Bang! Dude, he just cranks out like 3,500-yard seasons every year. That's not impressive. That's not impressive. Right, but he's just been their quarterback for way too long. Plus, like last week, led the NFL in passing yards. That piles on. That might have been the difference maker. Whose turn is it? Strikeless sexy. I have to take a 50-50. Flip your coin. Okay, let me think about this. He's just Googling. Oh, (laughs) no. Oh, I can't believe that fucking... He's doing what you do right now. He's counting. You think it's fake? It's real. It's like he's selling out for the bit right now. Kirk Cousins for the lower Viking. I actually like that guess. That was, that's where I wanted to go. He's but, correct. Nice. Damn. Nice. Did that leave any breadcrumbs for you, Tony, or no? To be honest, I think I would have felt better if Kirk Cousins was the other one. I've been hanging on this one for a second. I don't feel great about it, but I'm going to say that the New York Giant is Phil Sims. New York Giant is not oh, Phil shit. Sims. Okay, I think I know who it is now. Let's go... Oh fuck! Chiefs, uh, Chiefs, thirty-five thousand one. Trent Green, incorrect. Fuck. Two strikes apiece. Sexy strikeless. Honestly, that doesn't even help me. Those weren't the. T- that wasn't one of the two I was even considering for those. So I'm just gonna play it safe and take Fran Tarkenton for the Vikings. That is correct. Old man Fran. This might be so egregious. To stay alive. Egregious. I'm gonna say the number one Seahawk is Russell Wilson. Correct. Let's go. All right. Well, I'd feel pathetic if I didn't go back and try to clean this up. Probably fucking wrong. Uh, Trent Green, 34 for the Chiefs. Incorrect. What the fuck? Are you out? Is that three? That is your life. This always happens. I always, like, just now on one and get all my strikes on. <laughs> what the fuck? Not worth it. So not worth it. There's so many better guesses on the board. They're all so close to each other. They're all 50-50s. 
Yeah, it's, it's just fucking impossible. So I'm just going to say the slightly higher Ram, Kurt Warner. Like it. Incorrect. See, I First wanted to... strike for I, sexy. I wanted to guess that, but I'm blanking on who the other Ram could be. So I'm going to say that the lower Ram is Kurt Warner. Incorrect. Are you serious? They have two other quarterbacks? That's... What? Yeah. That's insane. I thought Kurt Warner would be a lock to be one of those. Kurt Warner was close. He's number 47 all time, 32,000. All right, can we... Can we rip some guesses from the top? Yards. I mean, I'd assume one of the Rams is Jared Goff. No. No shot. They're old heads. But let's let's start it, uh, unless you got something else. No, let's just go from the top. Is Bucks? This is probably the most debatable one about if he should represent the Bucks. Is Jeff Garcia? No. Yeah. Any Testa Verde? Oh, sure. I think of him as a Jet. He had more yeah, yards me too. The Bucks. More yards of the Bucks. Okay. Dude, I can't think of any Charger quarterback outside yeah, of I literally could never name those two. Dan Fouts. Giant. Is this Kerry Collins? Kerry. I, was, I knew it. I, I just. I didn't want to. I didn't want to call him a giant. But I really thought he was a Panther, also. But that, that was right. easy. We should have got that. Yeah. One. And then is the f- next bank next highest Andy Dalton. Andy yeah. Dalton. Next highest Bengal. Next Seahawk. Hasselback. Yeah. That is the following Seahawk. Okay. This Seahawk is then. Um, I think this guy was on a bunch of teams. He just happened to be on the Seahawks the most. Oh no, he's on the Seahawks for twelve years. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> David Craig. I he, couldn't think of a third Bengal either. Dalton Palmer. Or is he a bill? No, I want to say Fitzpatrick for one of the Bills. Which bill? The last, the second one. The second bill. The, Fi- the last Bengals boomer. Mm. Oh, right. Okay. The other bill, Jim Kelly? Yep. Yep. The yeah. first chief? Alex Smith. Alex Smith. Okay. Damn. Who's the second one? The second the chief? Second one, no. Steph Steve not. DeBerg. Sick. Uh, the Rams? Yeah, who are the Rams? The first Ram was Jim Everett. Oh, okay. Second Ram, Jim Hart. The Dolphin was... Dolphin oh, uh, Chad Pennington? Nope. The goat? Yeah. Tannehill? Yep. Oh, my God. I'm surprised that wasn't guessed. <laughs> I can't and believe he's up there. How, how long did Tannehill play in the league for? He's been in the league for 10 years now, 13, right? 13, I think. 13. I, think. I feel like my rushing yards, guess, based on him getting 150 yards a, a like a year, is not that crazy. 11 years, sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think he started in 2012 and was yeah. with the Dolphins until like 2018, 2019. And then the last Chargers, who? Easton Stick. John Haddle. Yeah. Sick. All right, sexy takes it down. Yeah, it's a little suspicious, but we'll accept it for now. We'll look into the regulations later. Ryan Tannehill has thrown three or more touchdown passes to twenty-four different players. I need you guys to name them. All okay. right, Tony, start us off. Three touchdown, dude. Is this kind of hard? Look at that big yeah. name. This is so number hard seven. Already. Uh, let's go, AJ Brown. AJ Brown, number one answer. So easy. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis, number four. Devonte Parker. Devonte Parker. He makes it seven. <laughs> this is about to get absurd. The problem is I can't I can't remember when Tannehill became a Titan. This entire list is problematic, dude. Yeah. It's really difficult. I was not ready for this, sexy. I did drop you guys a hint just in Dreamo's trivia and said the years he was a dolphin and Titan. You think I was listening to you? That's why it always pays to listen to me. Uh, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Fuck, no dude. way. Derrick Henry. was going to be mine. He had to have gotten at least three. But not with Tanny. Derrick Henry. Why not? Is incorrect. Fuck. What? He's played like his whole career with Tannehill. That's why. That's I dude, knew. He has like three total. I'm having trouble thinking of Miami players. Damn. Now I, I do wish I listened to you on the years, sexy. I'm gonna go Nick Westbrook Akini. Pretty damn good ball player. He's up there, number seven. Janu Smith. That is correct. One spot above. I gotta go Delaney Walker. Might have been pre Tanny, dude. They crossed Delaney Walker is incorrect. Oh my god, I hate this. He also only had one. This could be atrocious, too. How about Austin Hooper? Austin Hooper is incorrect. Mike uh, Wallace. Mike Wallace. Good one. Number two. I can't think of fucking Dolphins receivers for shit. This might be fucking bad, too, but give me... I don't even... If he has three career touchdowns, then great, but whatever. Chigazim Conquo. I don't remember how Conquo he was year. does not that. make the list. <laughs> this, was, two. this was so bad. Tony yeah. out early. Tanhill fucking sucks, dude. How about Kenny Stills? Kenny Stills. Way up there. Might be saying the wrong person. Harris, Harrison Bryant? That's the wrong person. That's incorrect. He's been a Brown his whole career. Not even sure who you were trying to go for, that, yeah. to be honest. I think I might know who you're trying to go for, but... Yeah, maybe Anthony Fasano. Is that your guess? Yeah. That's correct. Wow. That That's not... I mean, just open it. Yeah, keep that open. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong Anthony. Damn, the Furkinator. They are pretty close in names. All right, Anthony Furkser, freebie. God, he wasn't on that fucking AFC South 
bullshit ass trivia, but Corey Davis, dude. Oh, that's a good one, dude. He, he, he probably, had like eleven. He, he probably snuck in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't remember if he scored touchdowns or not. Well, Tajay Sharp. Tajay Sharp makes the list. Sharp guess. Thank you. This feels gross. I think he was there with Tannehill, and he's kind of a receiving back. I think Dion Lewis was a Titan. I thought about him. It felt a little risky, though. Dion yeah. Lewis probably had two is years incorrect. Ago. I know who you're thinking about. For the, for Harris Bryant. It's correct, so rip it, and I want another name. Are you sure? I don't know if the fucking timeline's added up. I don't know if I trust you right now. I just want another name. Lamar Miller. Dude, that was... Lamar Miller makes the list. <sighs> nice. JMO needs this to stay alive. It's just no way JJ has four touchdowns. Is that your guess? I guess, yeah. That is incorrect. JMO's out. Nick takes the dub. Brian Hartline. Fuck! Yeah. Brian Hartline is correct. What about Kenyon Drake? He did make the list. How many more are Titans? How many more are fucking. I feel like there's a ton of Miami on here that we're just not thinking of. There's a couple of like Titans tight ends that were just mid and one slot wide receiver on the Titans and a running back. The slot wide receiver is killing me. Oh, fucking Adam Humphreys? Yep. Adam Humphreys. Yeah. Wow, nice. I remember that shit. The number five guy is a tight end that was on the Dolphins during like Tannehill's first couple years. Oh, Charles Clay. Ah, ah damn nice. it. Damn. I thought of him as a bill. I just um, fucking ripped the list. There's another running back from the Dolphins. You most know him as a chief. Damian Williams. A few just like random tight ends. Deion Sims. Mecole Pruitt. Jeff Swaim. Don't even know who Brandon Gibson is. <laughs> and then the past running back was Dontrell Hilliard. Shit. Yeah. All right. That's NFL trivia. Go check out the YouTube for the full length video. Peace.